The wait is over. Finally, my second package from Eric July and the Ripperverse. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my Document Cards unboxing. So as always, my unboxing videos, like my first impression videos, are unscripted, which means I'm gonna suck. Unscripted, unthought, don't know what to expect, but we shall see. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts on the Document Cards, stick around. Might be spoilers, might not be spoilers, don't know. I will try to let you know, but let's get into the box. Oh, I totally had this idea that I was going to do that stupid Blue's Clues song. I was going to be like, you know, you know, be like, I just got some from Eric. I just got, I was going to do that. And then I was like, no, that's super dumb. But I figured I would tell you guys. So that way you could realize the stupid thoughts that I have of like these completely and utterly just moronic ideas that I have to actually do videos. Hey, look at that. The box is open. Ladies and gentlemen. What's in the box? Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please, please don't fall. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks really cool. Ooh, I like that. It's a box inside that. It's a box inside the box. This is boxception, ladies and gentlemen. Do not open this box. Return now or be annihilated. Ooh, lore building. Document's eyes only. Open equals your destruction. <laughs> oh, Daddy, stop it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up the Document cards because I've been waiting for this for like several months. And to open it up. <laughs> Uh, you did not heed the warning. Your fate is now sealed. Awesome. If my fate is awesomeness, that is, I love the packaging. Eric really went all out on the packaging here. Um, and I am super thrilled that he, when he said, Hey, we're not going to give you guys some cheap, some cheap packaging and all that. Oh, this is really cool. Um, I really like that. Um, and the box seems to hold everything in place fairly well let's tip it good quality you know what eric july you really I, I will say this man you really went all out on the quality of all this stuff like fit good for you i mean this is an absolutely great mantelpiece um and it looks like if i am not mistaken here yep yep he did exactly what i thought he did exactly what i thought um you could do is he made the box in a way where you can lift this up and potentially prop it up so that way it just you can set the cards up on your mantelpiece and it would be just a really really cool thing to have in the back i might have to find a way to set this up on the wall maybe get some command strips or something i don't know i'll figure it out i'm running out of room on the wall really good packaging though all right let's get into it i don't i don't know what to do with the box That box is gonna die before the end of this. Okay, so the first package right here. That's right, we're gonna open it, destroy the resale value, don't care, don't care. Sorry, I'm really excited for this because I had no idea what I was gonna do a video on. And then all of a sudden, I come downstairs and there is a package sitting here. Where my, Because my lovely wife, she checks the mail every day and she brings down all of the important packages uh, that I am getting from the YouTube channel and all that and sets them down here. So the first card that we start with is Isom himself. All right. I absolutely love that artwork. I think it's fantastic. Um, a lot of good information back here on the cards, but let's not get into that. Let's not get into that yet because I want to just show you guys. And I really like the hologram. They are thinner than I thought they would be. That's interesting. They are, um, wait, wait, I, mean, I mean, I guess it makes sense though, but they are not cheap material at all. So then we have Yaira here. Ooh, the camera's having a rough time with the, uh, um, with that. 
Oh, interesting. If I shine the light the right way, it actually bleeds through. That's really cool. So we've got Yaira over there. Ooh, Santuan looking like a beast. Look at that. Uh, my God. Wow. Wow. Uh, Santuan's a heftier boy than I thought he was. Holy crap. Um, that's, that's, I, that really good quality cards. What material is this? That's a polycarbonate material. This, these are not cardboard. This is a polycarbonate material. These are not something that I would try to bend too much because they only have so much flex to them. And there we go. We've got Darren Fontano. So, oh man, the artwork on these is really cool. Uh, and actually the holographics on them, when the light shines behind them, the information shows through, which is, I kind of like that. That's a really cool feature here. So the first package has these four. Oh, no, oh, no, like a scrub. I didn't pick up all the cards. Has these four characters to it. So the artwork itself is utterly fantastic. I really like it. Um, And they did a little bit of a different thing with each of the character designs. They didn't quite do the same thing with every character character design that we saw in the book it's oh almost gave guest spoilers all right in the next oh this is uh, ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen we have something that i have been needing to have in the ripperverse you got this guys guys this is the best part of the ripperverse holy crap i cannot believe we actually got this Hold on, let me get these cards out. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have big titty goth girl representation in the Ripperverse. He did it. Oh, good man. Yes. Yes, finally. Oh, my gosh. This is Lillian Ronashi. Oh, man. Um, yeah, absolutely. That is awesome. I'm totally ooh, i like the signatures there too fantastic Ooh, having a good time with that not too good of a time ladies and gentlemen please although some of you may have this is a character that i oh wait 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 was this the this is michael copper check it out oh boy i like a lot of the artwork of sophisticated man of sophistication that man's he's a villain he's got to be a villain right Oh, snap! We're actually finding out the Alpha Core names here. That's fantastic. And right here, we have the dude with the helmet known as Braxwell. So, that is fantastic. Um, I'm kind of reading these as I go through. And then Ingrid Valdez also from the alpha core so what is that we're eight in we were told what 11 cards we get 11 cards and again this is this is all really really good artwork sorry my 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 thought my thought light there is uh it, it, it's intruding in in the imagery and so i may i don't know if i'm going to do spoilers for all of them i might do spoilers for some right I might. Who should I spoil? I don't know who I should spoil. All right. Might spoil the big titty goth. No, no, no. I'll keep the big titty goth girl secret. All right. Oh, I am almost Brian Solari. Oh, I like that name. Really? Yeah, he looks like a Brian. Yeah, with a Y too, not even an I. Like he's. Oh, he's one of those Brian's. Okay, so we have Brian with a Y. <laughs> because why not i yeah the artwork here and again these cards are definitely not a oh. ladies and gentlemen do we get and we do ladies and gentlemen outside of big titty goth girl we get the members of norfrica we get validian and takari oh man i am really excited to see the backstories of these guys here um that they ooh, and they look fantastic i like that on the panels on the back here it's just these little descriptions 
where you can hear like Dokumon speaking about how he is actually observing these characters and seeing them. What an absolutely fantastic. I again, these cards are definitely not uh definitely not cheap materials at all. Um and being com being exclusive to the campaign. You know, so let's go. We've got Isom. We have Yaira. We have Santuan. Darren Fontano. Lillian Ranashi. Big Titty Goth Girl. Shut up. I married a big titty goth girl. I just want to see more representation. Michael Copper trying to fight my Thabraxwell of the Alpha Core. Ingrid Valdez. Brian Solari. He looks like a Brian. Validian. And Takari. So what are my overall thoughts on just receiving these, these and seeing the quality of them? Well, first of all, as a campaign exclusive, this was a fantastic idea to get people hyped up. All of these characters were introduced in Isom number one. Just seeing them, I recognize all of them. I know where all of them were in. And so I'm absolutely excited to learn more about the characters. Um, I don't think they're going to give too much away, but they may. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they give away a little bit more than not. Man, some of these peoples are just like... Why are you two guys the same height? That doesn't make any sense. He's a Brian. Yeah, yeah, Brian. The card quality is definitely not. These are, again, these are a polycarbonate material, not something that, you know, I mean, these these are going to last a long time. This is not a cardboard material that I, that I uh, know of, especially once you put the light on it and it gets a little translucent. And you can start seeing from one side to the other. So that should tell you how thin they are. And the material that they are made of is, again, it's a polycarbonate material that they actually etched into. So you're actually going to get this really cool effect when you hold it up to the light. Showing that they were, I mean, I would imagine if they would have made these things any thicker than they actually are. It would be, it would be really, really hard to uh uh well and i don't obviously know the cost of these but so far the quality is fantastic all of the characters here were introduced in isom number one and i finally got my freaking package so maybe i should do a spoiler so let's save that for later so let me know down in the comments below if you guys want me to go through every single one of these cards this week and I will do a special live stream for all of you to do that. So if you guys want me to go through, talk about these, I'll give my full thoughts and opinions. You guys know me. I don't hold back. I don't overly trash stuff and I don't overly praise things. You know, I usually find something here and there that I'm like, oh, you know, it could have done better. But without any further ado, let's put them in the place where they belong. Right. So we're going to fold that up. And then, oh, hey, I totally figured out Oh, that's how he made it. Oh, that makes way more sense in the brain. Come on. Come on. So we're going to set you there. Oh, wait. Something just died. What just died? Why are you dying? I am like 90% sure I am doing something that I am not supposed to do. Oh, God. I'm totally doing something. I'm going to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. I No. 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 You will do what I tell you to do. Hold on, hold on. I can't, no, I need to get this really cool setup for you guys. Sorry, I told you this was gonna be unscripted. You can't be mad at me. You guys signed up for this. You guys subscribe to my channel. Okay. So I think that needs to go there. And then that needs to he designed this box to be a display case, and I can see how it's supposed to be a display case, but like Ikea, it doesn't come with any freaking instructions. Or he didn't design it to be a display case, and I am literally just screwing around here trying to figure it out. But uh, if I go get some super glue or rubber cement, because I use rubber cement, um, I think, yep, nope, we're just gonna leave it like that. And that is how I would put it together so you can display on your mantle. 
So Eric July, if you didn't mean this to be like a display case, that's totally cool. But uh, this is how I'm gonna display it. Possibly, you gotta figure this out. Ooh, that looks good. I just gotta move all my books from there so my cats don't knock it down. But yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the Dokumon card box opening. Let me know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, there wasn't a whole lot to this video, but I made promises to everybody out there who subscribed to my channel because of the Ripverse that I would do that for you guys. So hopefully you guys liked it. And if you wanna see a live stream where I go through all of these cards and I get into the nitty gritty and I'll read them to you. For those of you who want the spoilers, We'll do a live stream this week. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. And then check out the links down in the description because that's going to tell you how you guys can better interact with the channel. Oh, and by the way, if you guys believe in the Iron Age and what's going on, join my Gilded server because that server has taken on a life of its own. And everybody down there is fantastic and they're all super supportive of the creative movement that is happening. So thank you all so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on A Drink of Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink with Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.